Yep. What's going on everybody? I want to welcome you guys to a quick video. This video will probably be no longer than five minutes. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. This is not really too much that I needed to talk to you guys about besides how to make your playbook look like my playbook. If you guys missed my previous video, I want you guys to click the card in the annotation above because you probably will m more understand why this video is out and why a lot of people in the comment section was asking me about this video. Now, uh, let me go ahead and um, go to my player real quick, just to get a couple things out the way. Um, I'll go to attributes and badges right after, but I just wanna show you guys my animations for a quick moment. A lot of people wanna know what my jump shot is. It is base 11 with Rudy Gay on both uh, upper end um, finishing the first and second, and it is on very quick. And of course you don't need any blend. As far as my dribble moves go, these are my dribble moves. Nothing crazy at all, guys. Nothing crazy at all. And of course, you guys see my dunk packages. Nothing crazy at all. Um, I'm gonna be changing my layup package real soon. I wanna get uh, a little bit more freaky with the um, layups and stuff like that. But uh, let me go over to attributes real quick so I can show you guys that. A lot of people uh, see my 91 overall video and i just want to show you guys uh my current cat breaker my current cat breaker is at 43 percent i am on the first bar if there is more than one which means i am 91 overall and i have made it 43 percent just this once all right teammate chemistry you guys see that fans you see that uh don't need to go through that um as far as badges go um, tear dropper and tireless scorer are two of the craziest badges to get very hard up and under specialist I really don't do too many up and under so that's gonna take me a while as well lob city finisher is almost maxed out and Charge card is another badge that I'm probably only going to be able to get in wreck um, Drop stepper. I haven't really done any drop steps and not really that much of a post guy besides the post spin and put back King is almost up there as far as personality badges go, I do have Clutch Performer, I do have Microwave, and that's because I ball out. Um, championship DNA, I'm not even at the All-Star game in my first season. I haven't simmed any games. And as far as Alpha Dog goes, I don't think I'm going to get Alpha Dog because I'm badge grinding right now. Maybe once I'm done badge grinding, I'll probably work on Alpha Dog more, whereas though you have to... I think it'd be leading assists, points, uh, steals, rebound, the whole the whole shebang, your whole stat line. You got to be the stat sheet stuffer to get Alpha Dog, and I think I might do that. Now, I'm not sure if I can play on Pro Difficulty and get this or if I have to stay on Hall of Fame. But uh, let me go to why I'm, I'm actually making this video. I'm probably talking way too much. Um, if you are 90 overall, you are allowed to change your roster. You're allowed to change your position, the way your team roster feels. You can influence trades, free agency. You can edit the playbook, get your arena media, and you can even request a trade. Now, for me, I, since I'm a 91 overall, I requested to get traded to the Golden State Warriors because they had a dope play that a lot of the my career grinders were using to get a lot of rep for their my cat breakers now as far as my minutes go i am somehow either glitched or something else has happened whereas though not teammate chemistry but a lot more of like maybe gm worth or worth to the team i am not allowed to touch anybody's minutes at all at a 91 overall i'm not allowed as far as the roster goes, I can see the roster, everything like that. But what I'm here to talk to you guys about is the playbook. Now, for all those shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, centers out there that have any slashing ability, or for the ones that don't have any slashing ability that are able to finish at the rim without posterizer or without Lob City finisher, this play, quick one elevator rip, I got this from I Am Baby. Um, I am baby influenced me to go to the Warriors because I seen so many YouTubers on the Lakers and I make videos out of this. So I didn't want to really do too much and, you know, be on all these different teams that are the same as other YouTubers. So I decided to do something different. 
I went to the mother effing Warriors. And the Warriors have a very good team. Yes. And if you got beef with me about going to the Goddamn Warriors, then go ahead and comment in the comment section. We got we can have beef. Beef with me. Why not? Beef with me. But why why am I here? Edit playbook, right? If you guys notice, I only have this one play in my entire playbook. My entire playbook has been taken down to the last play, the only play that I need. Now, if I go to assign plays, if you guys look at Steph Curry, Steph Curry's priority is on three point, nothing else. All he's focused on is the number one priority, which is the three point play. And it is on quick one elevator rip. Guess what? Same goes for Clay. Same goes for KD. Same goes for Draymond. Boogie, hey, sometimes Boogie can shoot threes too. We got that play on Boogies. Um, Andre Godala, I heard your jump shot got a little bit better when you came to Golden State. Hey, so did mine. Hey, Quinn Cook, you're good, right? You're, you're cool from the three, right? Maybe? No? Okay, well, you're going to have that play as well. Jordan Bell, I know you like the dunk. I know you like that fly high off them alley-oops. Guess what? You can have a play too. Hey, Sean Livingston, I know you like pulling up for the midi, but guess what? You're working from the three-point line this time around. Hey, your repco, listen, man, just sit on the bench, but when you come in, you run in my play. <laughs> hey, Jacob Evans, hey, man, hey. Hey, I don't even know who you are, but guess what? You run in my play too. Damian Jones, take that smile off your face because this is my team now. <laughs> Daniel House, hey, hey, how, how's it going, bro? You, you like quick one elevator rip? Well, guess what? You got it too. And guess what, guys? At the end of the line, yes, I have it. And the reason why I have this play, if you guys look at assigned plays, you guys notice the shooting guard will have a ball. He passes up to the point guard that is cut in between. And the point guard can either throw you an alley-oop. You can cut around the shooting guard if you want. But you notice how the small forward sits there in the corner. If I go to the corner, I can easily cut to the basket for an alley-oop. If I am the person that is next to the point guard and they call a quick one elevator rip, I'll take the power forwards position. And then sometimes I even take the shooting guards position in the play. So see how the power forward has the ball here and you can pass it over to the shooting guard. Sometimes Steph Curry will let me just run it and me and Steph Curry will run that play. Or if I am near where the shooting guard is, I'm on the other side of the court while everybody else is bunched up, which means I only got to beat one man. So I can cut to the basket for a pass and then posterizer or an alley-oop pass. Now, the reason for this is in my build, I am a slashing shot creator. What I get the most points from are posterizer dunks, moving shots, and alley-oop finishes. Which means if I can get times 40 in any of those things... I am racking up on the my points and that's what a lot of my career grinders have been doing. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's much easier for shooters because they can get 40 limitless range shots off with no problem. So I'm just letting you know this is just a method for all of those people out there that slash that like to get to the rim that have to finish in order to get their my points. Now I finish a game off with about 40 K with this method right here it bumps me up to about 60k now if i had the ability to change the roster and become the point guard and take steph curry out and set him on a bench and put in some weird dude and put steph curry on ir or whatever the case may be like i am baby was telling me then i would probably be getting a hundred thousand my points per game now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this out until after the All-Star weekend. Once I record a couple of videos for that, I'm going to sim this to the playoffs. If I cannot change the roster by then, I will go into the playoffs, probably win a chip. Once I win a chip, I'll probably re-sign my deal or something like that. If it does not allow me to change the roster again, I may ask for another trade in the beginning of my next season. But for right now, you guys are going to have to stomach me playing on the Warriors because I like playing on the Warriors. It's fun. It's, it's fun just coming in the game, starting KDs at Power 4 and Draymond looking at it from the bench like, hey, man, when, when I'm going to get in the game? <laughs> so I do like that. Now, uh, two kids telling me to go ahead and update my system. You know what I mean? And while I update my system, dodgeball is starting soon. So 
I think I'm about to get up out of here, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, let me see. Yeah, it wasn't too long, right? Who cares? I said it was going to be five minutes. It's 10. So what? Beat me up. It don't matter. I'll holla at you guys later, man. Thanks for watching. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. And uh, I'll holla. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.